Putting the kids to bed sh should not be a fight every single night. But I feel like it is. Sharing <laughs> more on creating a better routine and sleep environment is the Valley Today's Christy Larson, who joins us live from Studio B. Good morning, Christy. Good morning, guys. I know this is a complaint of many parents that they can't get their kids to go to bed at night. Maybe it's staying asleep. And so Annie's here with us this morning. And let's just talk about some of those ways we can make it a little bit easier on everyone in the family. Right. So usually I always say like a bedtime routine is crucial, right? So helping my families really get a good bedtime routine in place, you know, no screen time, nice calming activities like a nice quiet bath or quiet play activities just to kind of help them wind down. Um, one of the things that I have a lot of parents say is that, oh, my kid just needs me to fall asleep. So I always would recommend that parents like introduce some kind of a lovey to their, to their kiddos, which you have, what is it, Mr. Bacon? And so, and I also brought my toddler's favorite teddy bear in here, Daryl. That's Daryl. So the thing that that helps with is just kind of forming that nice attachment for them so that they can go to sleep with this nice comforting item rather than depending on their parents. Mm -hmm. So that's a really awesome tip that I have. Um, another one of my most common complaints is that they're waking up so early, especially my toddlers who are in their toddler beds or something. So I always recommend that, like, let's look for an okay to wake clock, which you can see this one's turned, it has turned green because I set it for 6.06. You know, once they have that visual cue, it's okay to get out of your bed. Um, it's a nice way to kind of set those boundaries without you having to be the bad guy. Like, right. your clock's not green, sorry. So just wait and be patient for that clock to turn green. It's a great tool for them. I know a lot of parents, too, they get so frustrated, and so then they give in. It's all about creating that routine and sticking to it. So how long does it take of sticking to it before it finally starts to kind of come natural every night. Right. You know, they usually say it takes about 21 days for a habit to stick in. Um, and the more consistent you are, the more, you know, develop those neural pathways are going to be within your brain to, you know, help automate those behaviors for kids. Like they just understand, okay, like mom's not going to give in. I know that I have to wait for my clock to turn green or, you know, follow the bedtime routine. Yeah. So. It can be hard. You want to sometimes give in when they're whining about it. But again, it's sticking to your guns creating that environment for them to go to sleep and then sticking to it. So we have much more on how to help get you a better night's sleep, especially for the adults. I know guys, sometimes we go to bed so early because we wake up so early. So we have some remedies on some things that you can take before you go to bed that will help you not only fall asleep, but stay asleep too, coming up here on the Valley today. All right, thank you very much, Christy. Lisa, I'm sure you can relate to the problem with oh, the kids. Oh, Lord, I know when she said mom has to stay strong, I'm not <laughs> strong. I go to sleep in, in, a, in a twin bed with my five-year-old quite Aww. often, so no. maybe why my neck hurts. <laughs> <laughs> Still a good mom.